Hello and welcome to the New York Jewish Film Festival. The festival is presented by the Jewish Museum and Film at Lincoln Center. I'm Aviva Weintraub, director of the festival, and I'm from the Jewish Museum. And I'm so pleased to have this opportunity to record a Q&A with Alamork and Kobe Davidian, the filmmakers of With No Land, which we're thrilled as part of our virtual lineup. Hello, Kobe and Alamork, how are you today? Good, nice to meet you. Hello. First of all, thank you that you're uh, uh, hosting us and showing the film. It's very important. Thank you very much, really. So well, I'm very happy. Thank you. It's, it's a wonderful film and very, very interesting. Um, maybe you can start by telling us what made you want to make this film? Okay. So I start, we, uh, we uh, uh, directed a, a testimonial archive named uh, Memories of Ethiopia. And uh, I'm telling my side. So uh, it's a uh, hundred testimonies. And uh, I was, uh, as we were filming and editing the testimonies, uh, I, uh, for the first time I heard the, uh, the activities of the Ethiopian Jewish community uh, to make uh, immigration into Israel, and uh, there and and I was shocked to hear the side because I, when I was growing up and everything I learned in Israel was always Israel uh, came and rescued uh, the, this poor uh, Jewish community in Ethiopia, and uh, and I was uh, very amazed. So. Uh, this started my research into this this uh, subject, yeah. and uh, Adam. Uh, like, um, um, for me, it's like uh, you know, uh, all my work it's uh, dealing with the uh, ident identity uh, as a black woman, as a, a immigrant, mm -hmm. and. Uh, also, uh, I came to Israel when I was uh, 11 uh, during uh, Operation Salomon. So, uh, and also uh, my tfisa. Your concept, your grasp. Yes, as the, the way I see history. Uh, and uh, uh, I know when we learn about history, there is, um, untold his history. Yes. Uh, as the st this story that for me, it's uh, Operation Salomon. Uh, uh, for me, it's uh, of course I know there is untold history. So when we thought about uh, three years ago uh, about uh, another three years, it will be uh, um, is thirty years. years for the operation. And we, we said uh, during the work uh, on the archive, we said, this is, it, this is uh, uh, need to be the moment we need, uh, we need to tell the untold history. Uh, so we, uh, we start to, you know, to um, learn near. To, to, to make the, the, the <laughs> film came alive. Uh, yeah. We started working on the film. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. So um, part of the inspiration, if I understood, came from the uh, seeing the oral histories that were in the archive you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it was a different perspective on the story that gets told in Israel. Yeah. 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 For, yeah. yeah. for yeah. me, it was uh, uh, all new. Alamark knew. She came from a, she has a different perspective. Yeah, uh, but really to work on the archive, it's like, you know, I felt, I, we saw, we met the people and like the, it's like, for me, it's to remind me uh, the, the spirit of this community. And it's, uh, it's, uh, okay, <laughs> come on people, let's, let's, 
let's speak tell about the, yeah. the, the, the our story. It's like, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you understand. That's great. That's great. So it, it it's also obviously very personal for you. Yeah, of course, you know. Yeah. Every uh, work, it's very, uh, in the end, it's very uh, personal. Yeah. Yes. Can we talk for a minute about Fig Tree, which is, I think that was your first feature film. Yeah. Uh, and we were so pleased to show it in the festival uh, three years ago. Yeah. Um, were you thinking about the documentary at the same time you made Fig Tree or not really? No, not really. Even, you know, I, uh, when I, I make the Fig Tree, it's like for me, it was documentary. It's the, for me, it's like a holy place because it's real people. And there is, for me, it's, you have a big uh, responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the the story and the people it's like no way I will not uh, I don't want to make a documentary film it's like no 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 it's too heavy for me uh -huh. this uh, responsibility uh, of creating something that's mm. but Kobe he's uh, more coming from the this world of uh, documentary and he's like uh, you know I see him and the way he work and the way he, he's uh, um, uh, work with the material, with the history, and he's very serious person. And I said, okay, I can be, <laughs> yeah, I can jump on it. Uh, yeah. And so how long did it take, how long did you work on it? And what was the process like in terms of um, funding it and, um, what were the reactions as you were developing? Very fast. Very fast. <laughs> very fast you know? Usually a documentary, a regular documentary takes uh, between uh, three to five years. But uh, we had uh, a year and a half from, uh, from the uh, funding from uh, uh, Khan 11, the, the public, uh, Israeli public uh, station and, uh, and uh, Gesher, uh, Film fund yeah. that, that funded us. Uh, we had a year and a half inside the pandemic and inside the civil uh, war in, uh, in Ethiopia that we had to, uh, to we filmed in Ethiopia as well. Yeah. So we it was uh, very hard <laughs> to produce uh, this film and it was very quick uh, to make an historical broad scope, scope uh, story mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for a good thing I can't uh, I don't know what uh, else to say about it um, yeah that's yeah. that's great I, I I was really um, very moved by the interviews in the film and you had incredible access um, to, for instance, um, some of the government officials in Ethiopia. How did you find people and was it hard to find people that were willing to talk about it or did people really want to tell this part of the story? I think we are in the middle of process uh, of uh the Ethiopian community understanding about uh, 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 the Shamel historian. To, keep, to, preserve, to, to preserve, yeah, yeah, to preserve history. The, the, their, their history. Okay, our story, yeah. because I think uh, in our culture, uh, you are not supposed to be talking about your uh, doing things. It's like more you need to be. Uh, Humble, uh, mm -hmm. humble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you need to showing things uh, by doing. Ah, uh, yes. And so, but I think the the, uh, the community. Uh, I think I don't know. Like five years ago, or I don't know, ten years ago, it was very difficult to uh, bring people to speak. 
uh, even in our research, it was very uh, uh, hard work to uh, to, to, to persuade. Yeah, but but, but, but also but, just a minute. Yeah. Uh, but because there is understanding, uh, that it's more easier. But sometimes you feel the, I I know they feel oh no please why 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 I need to talk about this really it's happened okay we do it so what it's like like that yeah, yeah. it was uh, a, a tough job if we we research more than fifty people uh, that could have been in the film because everybody had a great story and and did a lot for this immigration. But, but uh, it was, uh, I think, a hard uh, work to, to get them to tell the story. Uh, as Adam Mark said, not that we did that and that's it, you know, or we, we, we did this stuff and that's it. But to tell the story, like to tell what you did, how you did it, and and uh, and etc. So that was uh, uh, something we had Anamor had to deal with when she interviewed the, the people. Uh, but it was very uh, beautiful also because this is uh, uh, this was like a di- dialogue about the uh, Shamel. Uh, uh, Preserve. Preserving history, why we need to talk about it, how, how, what, what, is, what, what is the meaning of history in, uh, in the, in, uh, because we are, we are living in the Maharav, I don't know, in the West, in the West. In the West. and there is also element of uh, 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 fighting history, if yeah. we don't, if we don't tell our story, nobody will tell it. So it was very interesting yeah. and beautiful. And as well as this, the, these people are getting gold. And if they don't tell this history now, then they, nobody will tell this history. Yeah. Uh, so it was, I, I, for, I, for me, it was very uh, beautiful. Masa. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, journey. Yeah. Journey. journey yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Right. Um, I was very interested to see Rachamim Elazar, uh, one of the interviews. I met him years ago. That's another story. Um, yeah. But can you talk a bit about the important role that he played, wow. I think, in the 80s, right? Yeah, he's a very smart, wonderful person. He's like, uh, there is many... Uh, you know the way he is understand things, and uh, without any uh, in the be- in the beginning, without any formal education or yeah. any means of uh, I don't know. He is like really yeah. believer, yes. and really uh, really smart person that he 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 understand that he need to loveil. Uh, uh, he needs to get the uh, uh, to, uh, to lead to lead yeah to lead uh, some idea because for his uh, you know for his history for his uh, people for his uh, and there is many story that he told us you know he he doesn't have uh, enough money to eat the, 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 uh, those years and how he said in uh, some uh, uh, coffee shop uh, trying to convert people how to make uh, a really a uh, program for the uh, he, he's an amazing person and and he really uh, understood that he had to get uh, the international uh, yeah. northern american yeah. uh, involved in order to make this uh, immigration happen he, he knew that he had to tie tie ethiopia with israel and the united states and canada yeah. uh, with, with Without him, he's not a politician, he's not, uh, I don't know, uh, it didn't come from, from the system and in, or anything, but he, he really understood that and he, and, and he did it. And, and he, 
it for me it's very special because I felt uh, to do a really uh, a big m- movement yes you need to uh, you have to uh, you know, yeah some support he is like he get to hear like uh to uh, he he do uh he did he did some some and uh, some uh, movement without support mm-hmm. well, it was illegal when it yeah. came here so it's like very um And, and you know he tells about the big history uh, in the movie but I just we uh, I said about my impression on him uh, yeah he has I I think like a great intuition for uh, yeah for what to do to lead um, yeah in like yeah. really complicated political situations yeah yeah uh, yeah so the interview with Colonel and Mitiku Bogale was so interesting. What more can you tell us about him? First of all, he is a brother of Yona Bogale. He is very... Yes. But you so, tell, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he, uh, yeah. he is the brother of Yona Bogale, the, the, uh, the, the big leader of Ethiopian Jews. Uh, uh, So he is uh, he, he was uh, navigate his uh, um, feed is a role his role in very complicated uh, history on Ethiopia yes. you know in uh, during their time he, he, he managed to get a very high level of uh, Uh, in Ethiopian uh, government yes uh, and his story also very complicated because he uh, he never he, he doesn't show his uh, about he doesn't speak about his uh, Jew uh, that he's a Jew mm-hmm. uh, but also it's very an impact on his um, on his career. Co- career yeah he had to uh, keep it silent but like the the, the people above him know it so he had uh, this glass ceiling where he could get as a Jew uh, uh, in the and yeah. what part he can get as a Jew yeah But the also yeah. also he he has a very big role about escaping the Jewish people and Uh, there is many stories about him that he, we, we didn't get to uh, 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 on the movie but he is like uh, during the the uh, the uh, he's he we keep him to well uh, we, we did we, we, yeah. we, we didn't get to uh, we, we, ha- we didn't have time to get into this in, in the film but uh, 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 he he uh, together with the uh, Mossad and had, had an escape route for uh, poli- political uh, uh, prisoners through Kenya. They used to f- uh, forge uh, documents and, uh, and smuggle them out of, uh, from the Ethiopian Ken- Kenya border into Kenya and from then they, they would fly someplace and then to Israel. Yeah, uh, this is also during seven, 70s, 80s, uh, no, in the middle, uh, middle of uh, 80s, Or he do it with his uh, nephew and by also telling about uh, uh, telling uh, guiding by uh, Yona Bogale he, he is doing amazing and dangerous t- uh, yeah. crazy yeah. T- crazy job really wow. uh, um, so you know for us also uh, to bring him uh, to the movie it's like you Really, the, the activists told about this. There is a way to work with uh, Ethiopia. It's not really, you know, there are uh, very far uh, villages. We don't know nothing about things. Da, da, da. There is a way. There no, is and also they're not people they're, they're communist that. and we, we can talk to them. There is, there is ways. Yeah. And so for him, for him, his um, character was very important to... See, it's not 
there is no and uh, no people to uh, work with them right there was a person that he also have really can uh, smuggle people uh, through the airport yeah the main the main line yeah, yeah. Wow, wow so it's like uh, yeah yeah so it's I don't know if we answer your question <laughs> <laughs> no it's great I and I think um, It, it's a little bit well it's a corrective to the white savior story yeah yeah that narrative that we have all heard for many years mm-hmm. but yeah. you've really brought agency um, to the people and yeah. I think it's very wonderful yeah and of course he's not the only one it's the sure also to say. Yeah. sure and you um, Where have, have you shown the film in Israel? It, it was worked as uh, we oh, said yeah. in, uh, in Cannes uh, in, in May and the, the uh, in, 30 uh, years un- uh, annual, annual uh, Oh, the anniversary of anniversary, Operation. Yeah. Uh, on the Israeli public channel. So it was very great and was very nice that uh, they were partners and willing to tell this narrative uh, so uh, and, uh, and as the festivals work we, we couldn't show it in festivals in Israel because it was already broadcast uh, okay. so we're doing the other route <laughs> yeah coming from outside and then maybe we'll uh, show it in Israel we, we do uh, screenings and lectures in, in Israel and uh, and it's a uh, Amazing to see how little people know about the subject, even in Israel. Yeah. Uh, or they, they know what I know I knew in the first step that Israel came and rescued and uh, everybody is uh, shocked to, to see this community in a different light. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, and, and it's uh, and, and abroad it just started its tour so uh, that's your, great. Your, I, I'm sure there'll be a lot of festival interest in the film. We hope so. Hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Now I read in the press kit that you're already working on another film, right? Mm. What is yeah. that about? Can you talk about it or it's too early? No, it's, it's okay. We, we, we hope it will come up uh, out next year. It's uh, called the uh, Hanitra. It's uh, about a uh, big clearance and improvement project uh, that was supposed to happen in Kriyat uh, Moshe uh, neighborhood. It's a uh, uh, neighborhood in uh, the city of Rehovot that is mostly populated uh, by the Ethiopian community. Okay. And uh, it was uh, the number one national priority uh, uh, building project until uh, a month ago. <laughs> uh, the, and, and the film uh, 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 follows uh, the, the, the activists, the, the, com- the community activists uh, while dealing in, with the politicians and the, the uh, uh, entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and, and identification, not identification, how can the community stay as a community and not uh, uh, scatter around uh, in Israel? Because the, the project was uh, supposed to demolish uh, the whole neighborhood, it's 10,000 people and build a new neighborhood of uh, 52,000 people. So, uh. Uh, so the, from uh, like, uh, 80-90% uh, Ethiopians, there will be 20% at the end of the project. It, from all the, the things. So it's, uh, we're looking inside the community and how they're dealing uh, with the outside forces and, and uh, different forces that shape the community itself. Uh, So now when the editing and we hope that it will come out around July next year. Okay. I can add uh, this one uh, thing in one yes. subject. Uh, yes. Uh, the, we have the, the line of today uh, of 2000, 
21 in, uh, in the film. And uh, it's, it's important for us to uh, say that history repeats itself because mm. there's uh, still 10,000 uh, people stuck in Ethiopia inside of a civil war uh, that can't immigrate into Israel and uh, Israel doesn't let them immigrate in. So it's the same story exactly 30 years ago, 30 years after. Wow. Uh, and we and this these people have family in Israel, so there's uh, family uh, separation, and uh, it's important for us to raise this this issue and and uh, to to let people know and maybe try in that way to open the doors for these people. Yes, I hope so. Well, I wish you the best of luck with it. And I hope um, the reception of With No Land is, is very positive. I'm sure it will be. It's such an interesting and important film. Thank you so much. Thank you.